take three. G'day everyone, Rachel here from Rara's Realm. Welcome to my video. Uh, two apologies. I have a cough. I will try and get through without coughing too much, and we'll, uh, otherwise it'll be take four. Um, and I have rosy cheeks because I'm halfway through the housework. <laughs> I thought I'd take a pause and get this done because this is traditionally the time that I get it done and um, we're way late on the housework. So, um, I don't have a lot, try not to cough, I don't have a lot to share uh, other than obviously what I've worked on and we've got to choose some new projects. I don't have a lot of haul. Um, before I jump to that, this is the problem with doing several takes, <coughs> Um, a heartfelt thank you to everyone who commented on Charlie's loss last week. Um, it was really touching. Um, I'm pretty much okay, although I went to Stitchy Group yesterday and, and one of the girls doesn't really um, Facebook or anything like that. Um, so she wasn't aware of the situation. So the first thing she said was, did Charlie come home? Oh, no, Charlie didn't come home. Um, so... On the whole, though, I'm I'm okay. Uh, his girlfriend is now missing. Hasn't been seen since Friday night. Um, I discovered this morning. So I clarified with the woman who made this post. Was she who I thought she was? And she is. So um, I have seen her this week, but I haven't I haven't recalled seeing her over the weekend. Um, his little friends. Are <coughs> excuse me. His little friends are starting to visit again. Um, it's almost like they knew something was up and they stayed away, but they're now... Uh, Simba, who is his little ginger buddy, um, is now coming back over the fence. And, and in fact, we had the door open one day last week. I was cooking something smelly, um, and I just... It was a warm enough day to open the door. Uh, and I looked around, and there was this ginger cat wandering across the lounge. And I thought, OK, straight to where the cat food used to live, but doesn't live anymore. So... Um, you know, it's, 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 I miss having a cat to cuddle, but Simba comes and has a cuddle, and there's a couple of other cats in the neighbourhood that are very cuddly, <clears throat> and I believe, according to Molly's mother, uh, she's actually a very snuggly cat too, although I don't think she's ever let me approach her, um, she just sits, Charlie was there, Molly was there, and they would just glare at each other, <laughs> um, <clears throat> anyway, right, uh, right, show and tell. Okay, so the only thing that's arrived for me this week was my Floss Club, um, I was going to say entries, but that's not the right word. I get three weeks and three gentle arts through Sam from my, my needle here in New Zealand. Um, an actual fact, there are only two gen um, weeks I've just noticed here, Sam. Um, have I dropped one? I've dropped one. Sure, I had looked at them when I opened the, the envelope. Okay, so the, the weeks I've got is Blackboard, um, Blaze, and Blue Bonnet. Um, I don't know how well they'll show up. Oh, not too bad. The, this is a lot lighter than what it's showing up on the screen, and this is Neon, that's Blaze, and that's Blue Bonnet. So that's the weeks. Um, we're well and truly into the blues and the gentle arts are bluebell, bruce boot, blue spruce and blue jay which I that might be presidential blues baby brother I rather quite like blue jay um, so those are the gentle arts that's blue jay in fact just indulge me one moment because I dropped presidential blue on the floor I don't, it's not probably enough to tell, to see the pair of them next to each other. No, ignore that, can't see much. The colour's not right. Hmm, but Blue Jay is very nice. Anyway, so that's my only haul <coughs> this week. I have now got two orders in, one at 123 Stitch and one at um, the Fat Quarter Shop, which actually isn't cross-stitching. Um, and deal with those later okay so I think I've worked out that I have got five things to share uh, so last week I talked about 
finding these couple of hours early in the morning when I get up early and um, no one else is up I get a few hours stitching so I've done a little bit of catch up on some stuff I, I didn't actually do garden club series on the two days so Sunday Monday last week um, so I did a bit of catch up on that which I'll show you in a moment um, and I gave some time again to Orchard Valley Quilting Bees because I really want to get it finished and I've got half I've got this house inside of that block to do and those two blocks left to do um, so I think the last time I showed it to you I had got it as far as the quilt in the middle so I think what I have done this week is I have brought the grass over and done a third star and I've made a start on the next house and I think I will just keep plodding on in the mornings even if it's not picked um, in the balls today I will plod along in the mornings um, and keep working on this because uh, I would like to get it finished A and B then I can move on to my unicorn piece hopefully right usual problem where to pile it all okay so Monday after the video I was supposed to work on garden club series I might have done a little bit I, I really can't remember now I'm on part four um, and when I showed this to you last time I've got the outline of the basket a couple of pink flowers and that's about it I have counted wrong um, I believe on this no on this side they are a row above where they're meant to be um, and all that it may I had to do then was just fiddle with the vinery so I did the vinery or some of it anyway so here I just had to fiddle and take out a stitch and um, I don't believe it will compromise anything else because I think once I don't know how well I can't hold it well and point I've got enough hands um, once we get to sort of this point here we're back to normal so it won't affect anything else I just have to remember when I do the border I don't take it off those two flowers I work it off somewhere else um, so that's some of the vinery um, on that so at least that did get some love and it did get moved along and there's the needle I'm noticing when I show some of these things I'm losing the needles I go to get it the next time and there's no needle okay <clears throat> Jill and Donna uh, any of you want to own up going back and checking what the missing project for the week was <laughs> I will now show you at stitchy group yesterday we were trying to figure out what I have stitched this week and I couldn't remember what my Tuesday Wednesday project was at all and it didn't even enter my head as the things that we were talking about yesterday I had to look it up and obviously I have pulled it out for this morning so the missing project is Quaker Street and I am actually starting down here I had started in this corner and gone across the top to check I had enough fabric uh, and once I was happy with that I actually have started this because it's a thin column of a page I think it's an eight page chart and pages seven and eight are like just a thin thing so I was like if I cross those off I've got two of eight pages done then you see um, it ain't much but so uh, when I showed this to you last time I had uh, I've got this corner done and I was just starting on the top of the house there <coughs> so I have finished this so this is the line of the page so I've completely finished that part of the roof of the house and I've made a start here and there's a lot of presidential blue to go down here um, so this is presidential blue on raw linen and it's going to be lovely eventually but it's big uh, okay so Thursday Friday was Blessed Be by Brenda Gervais and the last time you saw this I've got my little beekeeper I've got her bees I've got the bottom border done and I had made a start I've got this flower and vine and made a start down here 
also I have managed to get the face of the house done a little bit over here and I'll start on, in fact I think that's the whole flower is complete but the fill-in and the finery stem stuff hasn't been done yet um, so it's a bit shiny um, so it's getting there I wouldn't say I'm at the halfway point because uh, there's still things to fill in we're pushing the halfway point though because what's above is just um, stemware and uh, stemware glasses stems and flowers and leaves and a bumblebee so we're, we're pushing halfway I'd say by the time I get that, that side face of the house done I would call it halfway even though I haven't filled in the windows yet so we're getting there and this is on the cord floor linen <coughs> which I don't have in, oh yes I do <laughs> Uh, summer khaki, 32 count summer khaki I'm using uh, and then my sun, Saturday Sunday start was um, the viewer's choice which you, I can't put my foot anywhere, down there um, which you chose was a Mill Hill kit um, uh, this is Jingle, Snowbell's Jingle so I have made a start and I have got three lengths of thread done. So that's his, the main part of his scarf, the tie bit, and this is coming the, round the arm and across the bottom of the sweater. I don't particularly like the perforated paper. My, it swims in front of my eyes um, to the extent that if I work on it for too long um, my eyes absolutely ache so I am pretty much doing a length at a sitting so this I'm afraid is going to take forever and a day um, it looks like it's actually I, I was thinking there would be some bordery space around the edges of this but it kind of looks like it, it's going to at least top and bottom get very close because that's his jumper in the middle he's still got to have a head and a body down here so unless I'm doing something wrong but I can't see how because of the way the holes are he's going to be a decent size um, and this this would be I don't know that this is 6 by 6 where's the numbers up the right way uh, there's actually a six by six so that's six inches squared that bit of perforated paper um, but yeah it's going to take a while because I just the it just gets really disorientating um, I don't know why anyway so that is where we are at and now we need to choose some more projects um, just the other bit of housekeeping while I cite it as I reach for my pillowcase uh, when I looked this morning I'm at 249 subscribers on my iPad and that's that's the number I'm going off um, if I fiddle around and try and figure out so at the moment I'm still one short of one 250 to do the giveaway that I want to do so anyway right if you haven't been here before I choose my projects every two weeks by drawing balls out of a pillowcase otherwise known as ball jangling so <laughs> right so the first thing we're going to work on today is Hawk Run Hollow okay and I'm doing the village of Hawk Run Hollow so um, I've got five very big pieces, six actually if you include the hay now, um, so those balls can actually go back in and be drawn again. Okay, we have got number four. Number four is Cooper. Okay. Oh, I should have left that one out. If I get it again, I'll leave it out. Never mind. <clears throat> the next one we have 
okay it's a just cross stitch ornament um, I'll have a think about that I'm tempted to just give jingles a couple of days I'll see because I finished the last blue ribbon designs one oh really but I do need one project bag I did say at Stitchy Group yesterday I need a new project bag. Okay, we will make a project bag. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh because I'll cough. Okay, number three. Project number three is Quaker Street. Two more. It's quite a good selection this week. Oh, it's a new start. And it's next Thursday, Friday. It's a me choice new start. Ooh, I think I know what it's going to be. She's just as well, it's the end of next week. Alright, last ball. Let's have something we haven't had for a while. Focus piece. Okay. All right. Well, it's not something we haven't had for a while, but we know what that is. It's our Orchard Valley Quilting Bee. All right. So that's a good fortnight of stitching and sewing machine. Okay. So, Hawk Run Hollow. Is it easy to get? Okay, well I've just shown you Quaker Street and I've just shown you Orchard Valley Quilting Bee. So those are two. Um, Cooper and Hawk Run Hollow. Cooper is just here, as I've seen him. That's why I know I need a new project bag. Because Cooper's just in a plastic bag. So this is will be Wednesday, Thursday I will work on this. This is Cooper. Love. Cooper. Okay, and my hawk run hollow, if it's easy to get. Better with that in a minute. If you've not seen the hawk run hollow I am doing is the village of and I'm literally I'm on still on part two. So I will get a bit more of that done over these next couple of days. I will also continue in the mornings to work on Orchard Valley. Um, perhaps within this fortnight to try and get this block that I'm on finished. That would be a good goal. Probably not. Um, it probably is achievable. Uh, new start. In my order from 123 Stitch, I have brought the little Pond Lily Mirabilia Nora Corbett and I've brought the fabric and the beads and according to the supply list on 123 Stitch, it's DMC that I need to go with it. So, with a bit of luck, that was posted at the end of last week, that might arrive by at least Monday or Tuesday of next week. Um, I can then get the DMC and I might start Pond Lily because it's my kind of my practice run at a Mirabilia to understand the whole thing um, before I do Touching the Autumn Sky and not forgetting that I actually own two Mirabilia Nora Corbett's now um, Petal Fairy and Mermaids of the Deep or something like that Otherwise, what I might start, there goes the washing machine, I might even look, think about, um, do I show this or not? I belong to the <coughs> Croaky Voice Club, the um, country, what's it called, country girl, country stamplers, that place in Wisconsin, girls club. Um, and so I get the kitted, um, 
I'm in the schoolgirls ABC this year. I don't think there's any others I'm in this year. And the first one was Shakespeare's Peddler and we haven't had the second one. To the extent I don't think I've seen anybody showing the second one yet, so it's obviously not ready. Um, one of the ones I got last year was this um, Plum Street, um, all kitted. I'm really interested in getting one of these done because it seems like they send the 36 count fabric rather than 32. And I'm keen to try 36 and see how I cope with it. Um... Because if I can manage it, for some of these samplers that I want to do, it would be quite good to go to, to do them on 36 and just bring them down a little bit in size. Um, so if I don't start Ponderly, I think I might start this. A Country Winter Plum Street Samplers, um, which I would have uh, probably guess is exclusive at the moment. I haven't seen it elsewhere, but it will probably come out at some point this year because it was from last year's girls club so I think that's my plan of attack see that's probably on 36 count yeah it's gorgeous Sarah Casey on one but I'm not allowed to start that one anyway I have waffled enough for 21 minutes I will check the video back make sure the coughing is under control um, and I will be back next week with a Something. Brain's just completely gone quiet. Um, a review of this past, this coming week. Um, hopefully a project bag or two. I saw, I was perusing the Fat Quarter Shop and they sell rolls of vinyl. And I'm umming and ahhing about whether or not I see how it goes shipping a roll of that to New Zealand. Um... Because I, I really do like the project bags with the windows, but I don't believe we... Well, I haven't looked. I tell a lie. I probably could go in to and investigate whether we can get something like that here. But I believe the roll is something less than $7 US. Now, I may be wrong with that. That's what I thought, think I saw. Um, so even with postage, it's probably cheaper than what we could get here in New Zealand anyway. I don't know. Um, because I quite like to have a go at making a, a project bag with a window, but anyway, um, I'm waffling, I'm going to go, I'll check the video, I will catch you all next week, have a good stitchy week everyone, bye for now.